What's going on, everybody? This is Pseudo Shu, and today we're going to talk about setting up a Mac server. Um, this is useful for you guys that are either on the West Coast in the US or out of the country um, and still want the ability to run TaskBot or other software on the East Coast where you'll be closer to Supreme um, since Supreme is in Virginia. Um, unfortunately, I can't find anything closer than New York for Mac servers, so this is going to have to do, but it will make things extremely fast um, for you guys that are out of the country. Um, some of you guys are getting crazy ping speeds from like South Korea and some of the Asian countries, um, and even you guys on the West Coast in California, um, that ping speed really matters when it comes to Supreme because they are um, there are so many people going after these drops. So. Let's jump right into it. Uh, I'm going to go through the setup, um, how to make an account, what server to buy, um, and all that good stuff. And then we'll talk about how to connect. So we're using a uh, company called Mac in Cloud. They have a bunch of different server locations. Um, as you can see, our US East is in New York, um, but they have stuff around the world. Um, but they are the closest I could find to Virginia. So we're going to go up to pricing and compare plans. Um, some people, I think some people have already gone ahead and tried to do this because um, I've gotten a ton of DMs about it saying, hey, like, I got the server, but I can't install TaskBot. What's the issue? Um, so I think what a lot of people have done is they've gone ahead and done this pay as you go or the managed server um, setup, which, as you can see, does not allow admin or root access, which means that you can't install your own software. Um, I believe you can contact Mac and Cloud and have them do all that for you if you want to install something third party. Um, but for the sake of this video, and just because I would prefer to have a dedicated server, I'm going to go ahead and choose that. So we're going to click sign up over here. Um, and as you can see, if we go up to the top here, our location is um, North America East New York, which is the one we want. So we're going to have that selected. I'm going to do Mac OS High Sierra. Uh, we're going to pay monthly. Now for storage, uh, right off the bat, you get 50 gigs of SSD storage, which is more than enough to just run TaskBot. If you want to use this for other bots, go ahead and do it and maybe increase your storage, but I don't think it's really necessary. Um, and I think this is mainly meant for those guys that want to run this for TaskBot. So um, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to four cores and eight gigs of RAM. Um, I think this is more than enough power to run stuff for Supreme. Um, the only time you would need more RAM is if you're running for a ton of Shopify restocks or something like that. Um, I wouldn't recommend it um, for TaskBot, but if that's what you want to do, go ahead and get 16 gigs of RAM. You can run a ton of Shopify restock tasks. Um, just captures are going to be a pain. So, And we're not going to need an external hard drive. We're not going to enable RDP. Um, you can do this if you'd like. It makes things a little bit easier when it comes to connecting to the server. Um, but I'll walk you through how to set up um, without RDP, and we're not going to enable our VPN or firewall appliance. So I already have my stuff set up. I'm going to go ahead and pay with PayPal and then bring you guys back. All right, so, so once we've paid, um, it's going to bring us to this final page, and we're going to click Accept and Subscribe. And there we go. So it's going to send us instructions on how to connect to this through the email that you used to sign up. So we're going to go over to our Gmail account. Thank you for subscribing. So in this email, it says you will receive a separate email with your Mac login information in about 15 minutes. Please make sure to check your spam folder. Um, so we're going to wait for that email to come in and then go ahead and get things set up. All right, so we've received our email from Mac and Cloud with our server information. Um, it's all sitting right here. I have it hiding behind TaskBot right now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and download VNC so that we can now connect to the server. Let's see if I can do that. So we want VNC Viewer. And I will put this link in the description below for you guys. Um, I already have this installed, I believe. Do I mean it's on here yet? Sorry, fresh installed Mac. So, well, even better. So we're going to go ahead and download and install VNC Viewer. And 
And now we have that installed. Go ahead and open. Agree to the terms and services. And got it. OK. So we're going to go ahead and enter the information um, for our server up here. So all we need is the IP address that they sent. And then we'll click click Connect. So let's go to that. Grab the IP address. Go back to VNC. And we'll click Connect. So don't worry me again. Continue. And let's grab our password over here. And I'm going to do Remember Password. So click OK. And there we have it. So we are officially connected to a Mac server in New York. So our username. And let's see. I have to go back and copy and paste it. No, it's not going to let me paste. All right, so we're going to type this in. Z8 BCC 62 CTXU. And we'll click Enter. And this should log in. Let's take that away. And there we go. So we are now connected to a Mac server. Um, so as we can see, we can go in here and do about this Mac. Take a look at the specs. There you go, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Check our ping to Supreme. Okay, awesome. So as you can see, our ping to Supreme right now, just directly from here is between, it, it can get down to 0 0.6, 0 0.7 milliseconds um, and up to about point or 2.3. Um, that's a lot faster than what I've seen from a lot of you guys. Um, so the last thing we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and install Chrome just because that's what I do whenever I set up a new computer. Not a huge fan of Safari. So we're getting pretty good download speeds. And we're going to drag and drop. Go ahead and open up Chrome. And we're going to use Chrome. So the last thing we need to do is install TaskBot. Uh, I'm not going to go through that process just because um, I think that's something you all should do on your own. Um, if you have the download link and the license, then you should be completely fine. That's extremely um, self-explanatory. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show this to you all. I've gotten so many DMs about this in setting up a Mac server, especially for you guys um, out of the country where it's just not very easy to run tasks, especially for Supreme. Um, now, if you're running for Shopify, Shopify's in Chicago, so I guess New York would probably be the closest option. Um, I'd have to go back and look at Mac and Cloud's um, availability. But I think there there are some other Mac server providers that are in Chicago, so... 
Um, if people are interested in that, I'll see if I can dig up um, a couple different providers for those that are just running for Shopify and would like a server that's closer to Chicago than where they are now. Um, but other than that, it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward. So I'll leave all the links in the description below so you guys can um, get to Mac and Cloud and download the software. Um, and feel free to leave questions. I'm pretty good at answering most YouTube questions. So um, hit me up with anything. And I'll leave the, um, the Discord for TaskBot in the description as well. Um, I have started a Discord for TaskBot. It's gotten pretty big now. Um, let's see how many users we have now. So we're at 407 now. Um, I'm not affiliated with TaskBot whatsoever. This is strictly just to help people out that have TaskBot because there is no official Discord for that. Um, but we've got all kinds of stuff in here, just kind of general chat, a bunch of support, uh, proxy stuff, uh, a little license market for people that want to sell their TaskBot or buy TaskBot. Um, so hop in here. Um, right when you join, you're going to enter the welcome channel. Um, and to become verified and be able to read or to be able to post messages, you have to send me a screenshot of your computer running TaskBot with your um, username there, just so that I can verify you. Um, trying to avoid this Discord getting too out of hand. So yeah. Yeah. Other than that, um, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try to get to them as quickly as possible. See you.